Hello, I, today I am interviewing Connell Walker, the boxer. Um, my first question is, what has been your hardest fight so far in your career? I'll probably say my last one. My last one was pretty difficult. It went 10 rounds and it was um, it was sort of back and forth, end to end. Um, it was pretty grueling, so yeah, I've got to say, I've got to say the last one, yeah. I thought you won that fight. Did you think you won it? Yeah, I think I did. I thought I um I thought I'd done the better work. Um I was on the front foot and um I felt like I was busier. Um yeah, I did catch a few shots coming in, but I feel my my work is better work, but as you, as as it comes, obviously he's a champion and um it was a close fight, so I feel like he got the nod. Yeah. Um in the first two rounds I thought you were gonna stop him, mate. Yeah, yeah. It was close, did, you, it? did you think the ref should have waved it off? No, I don't think I don't think he was um badly hurt. Um obviously he was stunned. I jumped on him and um yeah, he he he, he um bit down on his gum shield and he fought his way through, fair play to him. I don't, I don't think it was worthy of a stoppage. Um but yeah, it was it was nearly there. Of course, um, last year you fought um, Jamie oh, Eubank, wasn't it? Um, something Eubank. It was um, uh, yeah, I can't remember his name, but yeah, I fought him. Yeah, last he year, was yeah. unbeaten at the time. I think he stepped in on a a day's notice. Yeah. Because you were meant to fight Jamie Stewart. Stewart, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't, lots of people were expecting this Jack Eubank to give you a tough fight, but you completely smashed him, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing um, the day before, did you, did you, did you get worried knowing that you it's a different opponent, unbeaten? Did you, did you, have, did you watch him box before? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I watched him and. Um... I mean, I was prepared for a 10-round fight anyway with Jamie Stewart. Um, so it wasn't as if I wasn't prepared. And, and really, I don't really get nervous. To, I mean, with my opponents, I, I prepare myself for um, the fight at hand. But obviously, we had a change of opponent. He was, yeah, he was a decent lad. Um, he was game. He was undefeated. But uh, I, I prepared myself um, for a tough fight anyway. So it wasn't... It wasn't a big deal for me. Yeah, of course. Um, now he's like he's fought a lot of times since you beat him, in mate. Yeah. Hasn't he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was talking to um interviewing Jamie Stewart the other day, and he said um if when he's done with his fight this weekend, because I think he's fighting for the Midlands title or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said that he would like to fight you. Is that what he said? Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I'm just going to move rooms because it's so loud, mate, yeah? Yeah, oh, it knows. All right. Right, I'm back, mate. Yeah, so he said um, that he wants to... He, he said that he, he's up for fighting you, mate. What? Would you Sorry, be up... My, um, my phone's you... just gone to 10%, so bear with me. If it goes off, then um, we'll have to be, carry on in a little bit. But, um, yeah, I mean, I like to say, I'm sort of um, stepping... I'm, in my eyes, I'm... I'm above him, um, and me fighting him to step backwards. Um, so he's not on my radar. He's not someone that I fucking I plan to go out and call out. I mean, it was that was just a voluntary defense for a, defense for a Midlands title. I want to push on and get bigger titles now. That's not something that I'm 
I'm looking at. Um, I want people with winning records. Um, people who are going to give me a tough fight. Do you know what I mean? In my eyes, Jamie Stewart's easy work. Yeah. Did, would you want the rematch with uh, Samuel Antwi? I mean, I'd love the rematch. I'd love the rematch. I've got. I have. Um, I think he's got other. He's got other fans. I need to sort of get something behind me, a belt, or you know, we need to get mandatory for something bigger, uh, because he won't fight me for a sort of a defense on a Midlands title again. There's no way to do that just because he was too much of a hard fight. Yeah. Do you um? How many fights do you want this year? Because um, you fought once already this year. Yeah. Do you want to fight? Um, how many more this year? I want probably about two to three more. I mean, I would I would love three more. Um, obviously we, what's it? Yeah, probably about three more, three to four more. Yeah. Um. Of course, you said Jamie Stewart's not on your radar. Who is on your radar, mate? At the minute, we're looking at um, we are looking at dropping down the weight. So we're gonna um, we're gonna drop down the weight, and we're gonna have a look at um. All these super lightweights, but I mean that's another. We're gonna sort of announce that soon. Um, we're gonna have a little dabble at super lightweight and see what the fuck is down there. Yeah, talking of super lightweights, did you watch uh, Josh Taylor v Jack Catterall? Yes, I did, mate. I did. That was a robbery, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, it was a robbery. I did think Jack won. I watched it twice now, and both times I thought Jack won. But like I said, there's been. There's been worse robbers in in my time and sort of um, in boxing, but yeah, he was he was disgusting. Yeah. Um. Um. Who's who's your favourite fighter currently? I uh, got Robert Canelo. Just because yeah. he's um he's just good. He's just a great all round fighter, isn't he? So yeah, Canelo. Did you watch his three fights last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch. I, I always watch Casio Duncan and Yeah. I watch probably most of his fights. Yeah. yeah. What age did you start boxing? Eighteen. Ah. Yeah, uh, I'm well, 20, 27 gosh. in May, so about what's that now? It's eighteen. I think eight, about eight, nine years. Yeah. Were you happy with your performance against? Ouch, we when it went to deci- the decision, did you think you were going to get the the nod? I thought I was going to get the nod, yeah. I did think I'd done enough. Um, yeah, I definitely thought I won it. But, you know, obviously watching it back, um, it, in my, I mean, in my eyes, um, I think I'd be happy. I, w- I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset if we give it a draw. Obviously, I, I thought I'd done enough to win, but, because he's a champion, um, and he was sort of the home fighter. Say, I mean, I, I'd be happy with a draw. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy, but I thought he deserved a draw rather than a loss on my record. If you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. If you could fight someone dead or alive, who would it be? Well, it'd have to be Mayweather because he makes the most money, doesn't he? So. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me that, give me that money. Or McGregor, one of them two. Yeah. Um, and my last question is, do you have any advice for people who are trying to get into boxing? Yeah, persistence. Persistence is key. Um, and don't be afraid of losing because, um, you know, you, you take a lot away from losing. No one wants to lose, but... Um, yeah, don't, don't, I mean, don't take the challenges because of the fear of losing, do you know what I mean? Just go and test yourself and, and just give it a go. Because once you give it a go and you win um, and the risk pays off, it's all, all, all the more better. Yeah, thank you for your time, mate. Don't let this loss decide your career. You'll bounce back, mate, I'm sure. Nice one, mate, nice one. Thank, thank you for your time. time. No, Goodbye, mate. Cheers.